Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology, 10 signs you are doing a bona fide spiritual practice. So, what is the proof that your spiritual practice is authentic? It is sanctioned by the scriptures and it is not just a thing, alright? So, many a times you will see so many people doing spiritual practices but eventually they will leave because that means they were not into a bona fide spiritual path, okay? And they were not connected to the right source. But if you are connected to the right source, here are 10 things that you will see. 10 signs, 10 symptoms, 10 indications of a bona fide spiritual practice. And the first symptom is huge. This is massive and this is non-negotiable. Which is your six anarthas will reduce and fade into oblivion gradually. Which are the six anarthas? Kaam, Krodh, Lob, Mob, Madha, Matsare, Lust, Anger, Greed, Envy, Pride, Illusion. All these things will reduce you. Your attraction, your lust towards the opposite sex will reduce. Your uh, greed will reduce. Your anger will reduce. You will not be that arrogant. You will not be in illusion. You will not be envious of others. Okay. And people will tell it to you. People will. People around you will come and give you positive feedback they will say oh you know you used to do all this before now you don't do anymore you used to eat meat before because of your greed for food and taste of the tongue and because of your enjoying mentality now you don't do it you don't take intoxicants anymore you do not watch pornography anymore you know you do not um, do gambling anymore so all the bad things that you were harboring inside of your heart will now gradually start to cleanse, okay? And they will reduce. And to the degree, uh, to, the to the quantity and quality, your practice is sincere. To that degree, your anarthas will gradually reduce, okay? So therefore, if this is happening, then you know you are on the right track. And if you are doing something spiritual and from three months, six months, nothing is happening, then... You, you 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 are not in the right track, okay? Of course, you need to wait at least like three to six months to see this. You cannot expect this within one one week or one day. But three months is a good time, okay? To experience some changes. Number two, you feel like doing it more and more. So suppose you are chanting some mantra, then you are chanting 15 minutes. Now you feel like chanting more, hmm? Now you feel like chanting half an hour, one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. You may not do it for four hours, but you'll feel like doing it, okay? So, <clears throat> you whatever practice it is, you will feel, let me be absorbed more. So, either you will try to increase the quantity or the quality or maybe both, okay? So, after doing the practices, if you feel, ah, what is this, you know, oh, it's too much, you know, I can't do it, you know, maybe just uh, two, three days I'll do it and then, you know, I'll leave it, ah. Oh my God, it's too much, I can't do Then, Then it can mean your practice is not bona fide or it means you are doing more than you should, okay? So therefore, if you are under the right guidance of a Guru Shisha Parampara, you will know when to do what, okay? And that means you will eventually want to do more of it. Number three, you will come more close to God gradually. So as you keep doing your practices, you will realize God is not some entity sitting there in the spiritual world and, you know, ordering good and bad for you. But he's a he's a person, as Krishna says in the Gita, right? Ishwara, Ishwara is in the region of the heart, right? He says, Riddeshe Arjuna Tishthati. Okay. Ishwara Sarva Bhutana, Riddeshe Arjuna Tishthati. I'm situated as the Ishwara in the region of the heart. Okay. So you will feel uh, Krishna's presence more and more. You will feel that, you know, he's guiding you, he's encouraging you to do more spiritual practices, he's encouraging you to reduce your anarthas and, you know, do good for uh, yourself and for others. So, you will see Krishna's hand in everything, okay? If this is happening, then, you know, uh, you'll be able to remember him more, you'll be able to think of him, you'll be able to chant his names, you know, you'll be able to read about him, okay? And you will uh, you will see his hand in your everyday life, okay? So, you are coming close to him basically. That's what is happening. Now, number four, you become more happy internally and you become more happy and satisfied internally. So, your cravings will reduce because which are, which are the cravings? These are the anarthas. So, when the anarthas reduce, what happens? You become happier. 
Okay, so naturally you will become happier. People will tell you, oh, you are now more calm, more peaceful, more satisfied. You know, you are not like overly anxious or you are not depressed, you know, because you know what is there with you all the time. <laughs> okay, so therefore, if you are uh, doing a bona fide spiritual practice, then uh, happiness is just the natural byproduct. Okay, happiness, satisfaction, you will be internally satisfied. You will be like, Okay, today if the food is not good, you will still be like, okay, that's fine. It, it's okay. I mean, it, it does not have to be like, you know, a hotel food all the time. Number five, others' opinions about you or your spiritual practice don't matter anymore. So this will happen gradually if you are doing something bona fide. Because you will get so much internal strength that it won't matter what your mother is saying, what your father is saying, what your spouse is saying, what your brother or your best friend or your neighbor, your colleagues, you know. It does not matter who says what. You will develop self-conviction and you will realize that you and your devata and your guru and the spiritual community is all that you need at a spiritual level, of course. And of course, uh, there other people have to be there. You know, you have your family, spouse, friends and all. That's fine. But for your spiritual practice, you don't need any others, any other person's validation. Okay. Because God is giving the validation from inside. Okay. Number six, you feel like withdrawing more and more into your inner world. Okay. Now, this does not mean you become irresponsible and you leave everything. No, it does not mean that. But it means now you have become a very internal person. You, know? you you think gravely. You behave gravely. Okay. The superficial thing is gone. You are a serious person now. Serious does not mean you are like overly critical of yourself or others. No, it does not mean that. It just means you you try and observe. You, know, you take a step back and you kind of observe what is going on. Who is doing what. And how can you react to this. You know, you... Pray to God and then God guides you. So you become a very internal person. Whatever happens, you try to see uh, well, why this is happening. Maybe you know this is because of my karma or whatever. You know, so you try to you try to realize uh, that the world does not revolve around you. You are a insignificant person and a God is supreme. So everything will not go as per our wish and everything maybe need not go as per per our wish because if the world would run as per the desires of most of the people. It would be a much terrible place, okay? much more terrible than it's currently because human beings do not have good desires, unfortunately. Okay? Especially humans in Kali Yuga, they, they have the most uh, dangerous, most nasty desires. Okay, So, yeah, so you will realize this and you will become more internal. Okay, You will internalize and you will try to understand yourself. Number seven, you want to give it to others. Now, what is this? You want, so whatever practice you are doing, you want to share it with others, you know, your friends, family members, colleagues, you know, strangers, anybody, everybody, you come online, you share. So, it's like, you know, you have this glass of water. When it is completely full, when you pour more water, what happens? It overflows, okay? So you want to do prachar, you want to preach basically. The message is overflowing. So other people around you, they are also getting benefited, okay? So this is one of the uh, best indicators, you know, that you are into a bona fide path because you are so happy internally and you love to give it to, you love it so much yourself that you can't stop yourself from giving it to others, okay? It's like a natural consequence. Number eight. You are able to accept your destiny in a better way, which means if something good happens, you don't, you know, like jump and you are not like, oh, ah, this happened. Wow. <laughs> and if something bad happens, you know, you don't get into alcohol or, you know, pornography, prostitution, you know, drugs, gambling and all this. You, you do not fall prey to sin. Or you don't uh, do even sin when you are happy. Like, you know, and out of happiness, people do gambling or they drink sometimes. So, Either ways, you are a very balanced person. You become like a sthita pragya, okay? Which means you can accept things. So if good things come, you will be happy. But you won't jump. And you won't be like, you know, oh, I'm the boss. Everybody is, else is useless. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the only man out here or whatever. <laughs> and if something goes wrong, then you don't feel I'm like a loser. You know, everybody else is better than me or something like that. So you become humble. You become realistic. 
and you are grounded basically and you are like okay whatever happens it happens you know good days will come you know now it's a bad time and if good days come uh, you will be like oh let me save some money because you know tomorrow bad days might also come okay so you will be able to accept your karma in a better way okay number 9 you will develop shastra chakshu this is very important you will be able to see the world through the eyes of the scriptures okay so for example you will be able to see okay this person was drinking alcohol see what happened this person is about to die so i should not do it okay so you when you are seeing you know a, a person who is suffering very much you know you may feel pain but then you will think okay this person might have done something bad in his uh, previous lifetimes and that is why he is suffering now okay then you see somebody who is enjoying very much then you will realize oh actually this person might have done some great karma you know in a at a very simplistic level i am trying to tell you there could be much deeper things you know so therefore if you if you feel that you know you are uh, you are able to see the world through the eyes of the scriptures and you you know love to read the scriptures more and more as i said you know in um, point number 2 you will feel like doing more and more so maybe you are reading the bhagavad gita shrimad bhagavatam you know any puran upanishad the vedas so depending on your tradition that you are following you will want to mold yourself as per the view of the scripture because scriptures are directly the word of god okay and the rishi so there is no compromise and there is no question with that it is the word of the god so uh, word of god so that cannot be changed okay the implementation as per deshkal patra will change okay but scriptures are absolute they are axiomatic truths they cannot change so therefore now you will you will not be bothered by every small thing that keeps happening you know you you know like uh, something happens suppose you know you are a man and you see uh, a lady who is you know scantily dressed okay so then what will happen uh, normally you would see that and you know you would enjoy oh look you know the body parts are visible you know i am enjoying the last you know uh, but now what will happen is if you see a lady scantily dressed you know or a man and a woman enjoying with each other if you see such scenes you will remember shrimad bhagavatam 6th canto you know what happened to ajamil his life was destroyed when he saw this uh, prostitute uh, indulging you know loosely with a man okay so he his whole life was destroyed and the la- and later on uh, at the end of his life uh, the first stand actually he, he saw the yamadutas and somehow because he chanted nara and he was protected and later on of course he perfected his life and he went back to the spiritual lord but Uh, this is an example where uh, because we see something very similar okay we, we, you will always see you know uh, men and women they are you know like uh, enjoying like dogs you know they are posing like you know, half naked photos of each other you will always see this so when you see such things you will realize okay this is not good i should see it from the eye of the scriptures okay this is very important and last but not the least this is very 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 important this may be there and may not be there but certainly can be there okay it's there in most of the people you want to dedicate your life to your guru and to the mission of your guru okay so if you are in a bona fide spiritual practice you cannot stop like as i said you know yeah, i think in point number 7 uh, i said you want to give it to others so you just don't want to give you know scriptural knowledge you know you want to invite other people to your community you know share the burden of your guru you ask your guru how can i help you can i help you financially or can i help you with my time or with my contacts or with my intelligence you know with my resources so you try to share the burden of your guru and you want to spread this message of your guru to the rest of the world okay so essentially if you have all of these 10 and if your spiritual practice is bona fide you will have all these 10 okay you may not have every single but most of them will be there and Uh, i'm sure if you are doing some spiritual practices under a bona fide guru then you will uh, tell me in the comments whatever you are saying is right all right at least seven or eight of them actually all 10 on 10 all right but nonetheless uh, please let me know which of these symptoms have you faced after doing spiritual practices for a considerable period of time like 3 months 6 months 1 year 2 year or 5 years or even you know 25 years i would love to know from you and what are some other symptoms that you have seen there are many as i have said these are just some all right thank you so much don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check this playlist for other videos on spirituality all right please take care jai sri ram